All right, time to get started. All right, time to get started. I know that's obnoxious at the beginning of every single stream, but, um, yeah. Can you guys? Okay. All right, there we go. Um, I only have a small space to, uh, record and stream in, so, like, <laughs> I have, like, my mic arm over here, and... You know, um, yeah, you make do with the space you have. But anyway, let's uh, go ahead and um, head back to Tamriel. All So in case anybody is interested, um, I'll be uh, sipping on Tea's Tea Organic Unsweetened Mint Green Tea. Um, it is very warm here in Maybe Central California. In we fact, when I booted up my computer, um, my little widget at the bottom right was like, warning, and had like a big angry sun. So, mm. Also, you might see me tearing um, a little bit tonight. I'm perfectly happy. Uh, unfortunately, the air quality outside is not. So, uh, yeah. Just have to just pretend it's the sweat of a fierce warrior woman. Okay. So, um, I believe um, that our next goal is to head to Riften uh, because we are looking for a man named Esburn. So let's see what's going on in this inventory of ours because we are carrying a ton of stuff here. What are we doing? Ah, oh, so many potions. It always gets me in trouble. It's always potions. Okay, maybe we'll be stopping at the university first. Oh, uh, yeah, I did all the things. Okay. <clears throat> all right. Might consider um, joining up my let's go to our dorm room at the university because, yes. I think I do want to buy one of the um, houses but I'm not sure if I want to buy one of the custom ones, um, like the one outside of Fall Creek, um, or if I want to um, buy one of the already established homes. Um, if I do, I'll probably buy Honeyside and Riften, just because I think it's absolutely the cutest. So we've got amethyst, we've got corundum, garnets. Oh, look at all this stuff I'm carrying around. Um, and some moonstone. Okay, well, that's a little better, but let's go over to our... Oh, that's right, we moved all of our ingredients over here. Elves ear garlic we have some to try out actually let's go ahead is there anything we don't know in here we'll take that that oh, I could have just consumed it right from the closet I guess okay let's go through all of our ingredients let's get a little bit smarter Try some hanging moss, some hagram feathers, and some garlic. Uh, not fire salts because they're expensive and hard to come by. Uh, 
down to 138. Okay. Yeah, this is probably what I'm carrying. And there are all those potions. Also, I can go ahead, even though it's my favorite, put the torture's head away. Uh, now that we've got this, uh, please don't bother the archmage unless it's absolutely brand necessary. Brand spanking new. Uh, uh, elven armor. I cannot wait until we get some of the like really good stuff, but. Here we are. Okay, and that's the out. Um, oh, we haven't actually been inside a wooden helm yet, have we? So let's stop here, hop inside, just so we can fast travel if we really need to. Like I said, it's crazy hot here, um, or at least it's going to be not loving that. Oh, well, we, we've got a dragon somewhere. I know while uh, here in the west uh, it is crazy hot, uh, I know on the east coast a lot of people are having a cold snap right now. Um, I grew up on, <laughs> on the east coast and I can tell you that I have most certain... Oh, you creeping into that wall. Um, I've been to a Memorial Day barbecue that uh, involves snow. So, um, yeah. horses. Guessing horses aren't great conversationalists then. You come here where you're not wanted. You eat our food, you pollute our city with your stink, and you refuse to help the storm folks. We haven't taken a side because it's not our fight. Hey, maybe the reason these Grayskins don't help in the war. Oh, look, like abject spies. racism. Imperial it's heartwarming. Spies. You can't be serious. Maybe we'll pay your visit tonight. Just got ways of finding out what you really are. Wow. <sighs> Looking for shipping? Nothing new there. Most of the Nords living in Windhelm don't care much for us. But Rolf is the worst by far. He likes Seems to get like drunk it. and walk around the Grey Quarter yelling insults at us in the small hours of the morning. Oh, a real charm of that one. Hmm. I don't know why he would think you're a spy, though. Some of these Nords will come up with any excuse to despise us. And it isn't just the Dark Elves they hate. They make a target of the Argonians as well. In fact, just about anyone who isn't a Nord is fair game for their bullies. See, that's why I, I think the whole Civil War thing is nuts. Because the Nords aren't the original peoples of Skyrim. Um, and they're conflicting with the Imperials. Which, I think their name speaks for themselves. They are also imperialists. They are also not native uh, to Skyrim. And they're literally arguing over land that's not theirs to argue over. But I mean, we saw a lot of that in, um, like oblivion too, just like the absolute intolerance 
um, especially in the more southern cities. Oh hey, let me put more stuff in my inventory. Um, yeah, so like uh, Burville and Leowin, we just definitely saw that kind of just, you know, blind xenophobia as well. It's nuts. Is that a bunny? That's a bunny. Gonna say it every time, guys. I love rabbits. I love hares. Uh, the yeah, I, I like bunnies. Um, actually, I don't know if I put it on like my. Um, hmm, I'll have to look. Um, I put like on my private Instagram. I put up a short little video. Um, of a cottontail I encountered out hiking with one of my girlfriends last week and um, I should check and see if I don't have it up on my like oh bear and I'm literally just carrying uh, Uh, so I was, um, okay, well, we must be getting a little bit tougher here. There we go. Um, so we, um, so I live uh, in the Central Valley and we went uh, up north. Uh, to where the, um, to where some of the marshlands are, and, um, you know, I, uh, I'm not, like, real, a real sturdy girl, so I can't do, like, big hikes anymore, um, but we were just out, like, uh, doing a nature walk, and, uh, she was, um, checking out all the birds, there's so many baby birds right now, and, um, I, I was just, you know, chatting as I always do, and she just, like, stops and points, and there's this, like, chunky little cottontail just sitting on the edge of the trail. Yeah, so you have one of the treasure maps now. Anyway, and, uh, and he's just sitting, and he's just, like, munching on some purple clover, and, um... just not a care in the world like they're definitely like um you know prey animals so like they they you know I you would think that he would be afraid but I'm guessing because you know the the wetlands are protected and, and stuff ah uh, see that's why I say you always have to check all the books um because you know sometimes they're hidden in plain sight but anyway so we killed the bear. I forgot there were, you know, oh, is that, okay, they're just boots. It's not someone under the boots. I think, unfortunately, that was somewhere. And, um, I'm going to give Uthgird my bear pelt. We stopped. What um, is it? And she can hold on to them while what we do you collect. Need to take? But yeah, so here's like, here we are on, uh, you know, it's a pretty common area to go hiking just because, go. you know, it's an easy hike. It's pretty flat. Um, it's just very, you know, circuitous and, um, you know, it's very family friendly in that sort of way. There's lots of places to stop. There are benches and things. And, um, that's still still here in that uh, dragon good reason the quick save um and he's just nomming along so um i got a cute little video of him just like munching around whatever and we hear voices behind us so i put my hand up and signal to um the people behind us to stop and look you know just as you would if there was like a snake 
and I think that's half what they were expecting. <laughs> and they look and everyone's like, there's a rabbit. And there's this older fella and he was like, see, I told you there was a rabbit. And uh, yeah, he's like, I can't believe it's, you know, here. And oh, he's just so funny. I guess he must have told someone in his party that, oh yeah, there's just this like rabbit there and no one else saw it, so no one believed him, and then I was just like, hi, bunny. So you would think with like, I don't know, a good seven or eight people on the trail, this rabbit would be like, oh, I'm totally out of here now, like I don't want to get eaten, etc. No, no, uh, he waited until he had um, totally uh, stripped this... Uh, stem completely clean and then he was like okay I guess I'm done <laughs> oh we're going kind of the wrong way here we need to go up the hill so I don't know once the rabbit was done he like hopped off and he hopped off like straight at me like I was in his way excuse you like how are you just gonna be here it was hilarious I think that's part of the reason that I just enjoy rabbits is because yeah in general they're kind of you know wary um, of people and animals as they should be but um, yeah they just they're just gonna do what they do. Okay, I wanted to walk uh, down this way because of, you know, collecting the uh, Nernert, but I think we're on the wrong side of the mountain here. <laughs> Oopsies. That's a big old mammoth head. Oh uh, yeah, we got some skinny dippers over here. Have fun! So I'll check to see if I put that up on my other Instagram as well. And if not, I'll put it up because I just thought it was the cutest thing ever. And of course it's like, you're gonna keep chubby butt. <laughs> like cottontail shit. It's great. Not cute? Skavers. <laughs> I mean, I guess their faces, like, if you can get past, like, their gross- Oh! Stop! Where are you? But yeah, no. The, like, weird wounds and things on them. No. <laughs> Just, like, runs while on fire. Oh, I know that feeling. Not <laughs> See, like, there's something cute about their little eyes. I don't know, but- they're, they're not oblivion cute, which is probably for the best because you end up killing so many of them. Yeah, yeah. We're just gonna fast travel. <sighs> um, but yeah, we saw um, a little bit of ooh, itchy, itchy. Uh, we did see a bit of wildlife uh, while if we were out. For a handout, um, you want to speak with my husband. Oh yeah, we have to talk to Brynjolf. But I was wondering if the I've never seen the old or... upset about anything. Really yeah, so that's hiding side, by the way. It's You're cute. a stranger here too, huh? Yep. 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 Yes. What time is that? Oh, she must be at lunch. Visiting Rifton? Never done an honest day's work in your life for all that coin you carry. Hey, lass. Hey, work smart, not 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 hard. Oh, expecting free information, eh? Help me deal with business first. Then we'll see how I can help you. Yeah, okay. Besides, you look like your pockets are a little light on coin. Am I right? Always. 
Well, let's at least exercise our uh, persuasion. Passing on a golden opportunity is worse. Wow. I've got a bit of an errand to perform, but I need an extra pair of hands. Okay. And in my line of work, extra hands are well paid. There we go. All right, what do I have to do, Brynjolf? Simple. I'm going to cause a distraction. You're going to steal Medesi's silver ring from a strong box under a stand. Once okay. you have it, I want you to place it in Branche's pocket without him noticing. There's someone that wants to see him put out of business permanently. That's all you need to know. All right. Now, you tell me when you're ready, and we'll get started. Okay. I'm ready when you are. Just give the word. Here. Some fresh meat to fill your uh, belly. Ah, Maurice. Um, so how do you keep your food so fresh? I picked up a trick from a butcher in Elenir, a small town over the border in Hammerfell. He showed me a way to grind up ice wraith teeth and use it as a preservative. Keeps everything cold and fresh, but only for a limited time. I'm always looking to replenish my supply, so if you ever come across five of them, I'd be more than happy to take them off your hands. There we go. Um, all right, I'll find you some. Thanks. I was actually worried I'd run out. All right, and here's your ice cream teeth. Just perfect. These should help keep my stock fresh for quite a while. And as promised, here's my trade. Hope you like it. Oh man. Ooh. Well, do we already know stove flesh? I bet we do. Thanks again for the ice cream tea. Vegetables as crisp as a winter's morning. If you're looking for a handout, you want to speak with my husband. Charming. Beautiful baubles and gleaming gemstones. The fairest yeah. horses and the highest points. Okay, good. Wait until I start the distraction. Visiting Rift? Then show me what you're made of. All are welcome at the Temple of Mars. Everyone, everyone, gather around. I have something amazing to show you that demands your attention. This way, everyone. Over here. Okay. How is anyone... Okay, you know what? I'm rushing. It's like right there. This is a rare opportunity. I wouldn't want you to get left out. That's what you said about the wisp essence. And it turned out to be crushed nerve root mixed with water. Well, that was a simple misunderstanding. Okay. But this item is the real thing. Essence, I give you Falma Blood Elixir. Oh, come on. Are you talking about the Snow Elves? The one and... Well, I see that my time is up. Come back tomorrow if you wish to buy. What a waste of time. Damn. I knew I shouldn't have waited. Looks like I chose the right person for the job. And here you go. Your payment. Just as I promised. The way things have been going around here, it's a relief that our plan went off without a hitch. Well, thanks. How things yeah. have how things. My organization's been how having a run of bad going. luck. But I suppose that's just how it goes. But never mind that. You did the job and you did it well. Rest of all, there's more where that came from. If you think you can handle it. 
No, we'll definitely, um... All right, then. We'll definitely do Let's the Thieves the Guild uh, questline at The group some point. I represent has its home um, in the Ratway beneath Rifter. A tavern called Not the right now, Flight. I think. Get there we'll finish in one the main questline. And we'll see if you've um, really got what it takes. I really want to do the, the Assassin's for the Guild. Fishing, I guess. Yeah. Alright. So let's go ahead and switch. Oh, wait. Did I forget to... I think I forgot to actually open a chest. And yeah, I have to actually open up a chest in um, if you're looking for a hand Delphine you want to speak with my husband. Uh, room to actually finish that. Okay. We know you have Have what? What in blazes are you talking about? Rollies around somewhere. Planning to feed the poor is nonsense. Hi. No, good for you. Okay, bye. Okay, so we're gonna turn off miscellaneous just for now, just so I don't get, you know, all discombobulated. We can do this one of two ways. You can walk with me up to the keep, or I can drag your lifeless body. Your choice. That's not very sound. We've got an axe and someone's skull. I don't know, Charles. They'd skin us all if they knew you were doing this. You can't help. Damn you. Should probably just use a sword here. That's right, we have to go around and drop the, uh, do that around? Maybe it's down enough. It's been a while since I've been down here. That was done. Um, I'm gonna leave that oil because we might need it later. Oh, hello. Goodness. I'll have to do that again. Oh, uh, okay. Actually, it looks too... Alright, let's not be subtle. Man, 
I am just whipping it today. Whoops, I meant to do this again. Okay, maybe I'll sneak up on him. Because I still need to get through that other guy. I don't want to use any potions or anything. Alright. Bow. Skin us a lot. What was that? I knew it. Give up while you still can. Never hurts to increase your conjuration. Uh, I guess not. Take all that. person and not <laughs> Because of his special gloves, definitely doesn't help anything. Alright, let's see here. Let's go ahead and oak flesh. And pull out the flames for our little rat friend. Do my bidding for me. Thanks, Blame Matronaut. Random gold coin on the ground, don't mind if I do. Oh, bear trap. Oh, yeah, bear traps. Okay. My bad. Oh, a version of fire. You probably should have used that. Where's? Oh, there's another one. Where's Uthgird? Did she not drop down with me? What's this? Let's see if we can open it. So 
close there, ish. I thought it was lower down. Like how he doesn't have a name, he's just low light. Get some salt. Salt's always good. Um, is this a two-handed book? No, it's a no book. changing. Dying breathing. You'd better have coin to pay for your huh. Lot of old guys around. I, need I don't to talk really to know how I can His help. life is in danger. That's a touching story. Now get out of my face. Mm-hmm. Got a lot of nerve coming down here. We don't know you, so we've got nothing to talk about. How about you finish the well, job Brindle well, gave you? Well, me impressed, then lass. I wasn't certain I'd ever see you again. Mm, getting here is easy. Reliable and headstrong? You're turning out to be quite the prize. So, now that I've whetted your appetite with our little scheme at the market, how about handling a few deadbeats for me? Uh, they what owe did our they do? organization some serious coin, and they've decided not to pay. I want you to explain to them the error of their ways. 
sounds Kirava, good. Kirava, Percy Honeyhand. Do this right, and I can promise... Honestly, a word of warning, though. Consider it good. done. If you need any details on your marks, I'll Aye. be here. Now get going. Have anything for us yet? I wouldn't stay here long if I were you. Trinkets, odds and ends. That's... Alright, now I think we have a potion of glibness. Aye. I'll be here when you're done. There's a re... Huh. Lot of old guys around. Maybe I it doesn't really help. Know well, when you put it that way, I think I do know the old guy you're talking about. He's holed up in the Ratway Warrens. Hardly ever leaves the place. Has someone bring him food and crazy old coot from what I've heard. For that to stand out down here, he must really oh, be off goodness. his nut. Alright, so he's heading out down here. Where does he he's live? He's holed up in the Ratway yeah. Warrens. Be careful. There. You're not the only one looking for it. Mm -hmm. Have anything for us yet? Okay, so we're gonna deal with the Thalmer first. Um, let's just go ahead, top off our magic. Let's just take a whole lot of stuff. Thanks, Atronach. Nothing good. I'm just running around here. Nothing. Hello, wizard. We're gonna have to fight more on the way out. Yo, 
feel like we're gonna need all of that. But our astronaut proved to be incredibly helpful. interested in finding you yet. He explained it all to me, before when I still understood. I don't remember, but I still know. This guy. the guy that, oh, we've got a blip. Anybody else we can deal with now? Thalmor have found you. You need to get out. Oh, how reassuring. Most likely you're with the Thalmor. Well, this is just a trick to get me to open the door, huh? Delphi needs your help. So, Delphi keeps up the fights after all these years. Yes, she does. You'd better come in and tell me how you found me and what you want. Th this will just take a moment. He didn't even ask for the password. This one Wait, wasn't always there a password? Goes. Keeps up the fight after all these years. Yes. I thought she'd have realized it's hopeless by now. I tried to tell her years ago. Um, what do you mean, hopeless? Haven't you figured it out yet? What more needs to happen before you all wake up and see what's going on? Aldwin has returned, just the dragon from. No one can escape his hunger, here or in the afterlife. Aldwin will devour all things and. Yeah, but like. I tried to tell her. They wouldn't listen. Fools. It's all come true. All I could do was watch our doom approach. Okay, but you're talking about the end of the world, bro. Oh, yes. Only a drag. It seems that the gods have grown tired of us. They well, it's not hopeless yet. You are? Yeah, I'm telling a dragonborn, dude. 
Then, then there is hope. The gods have not abandoned us. We must, we must, we must go quickly. Yeah, now. let's let's Take get some gear. Place. Let's go talk we to Delphine. We'll have to fight some Thalmor on the way, but it'll be fine. Yeah, I'm gonna gather some things. Because you have a ton of potions. Galdar, Galdar, Amulet, yeah. I can't remember if he had One moment, any. I know time is of the essence, but mustn't leave secrets for the Thalmor. One more. Well, I guess that's good enough. Let's be off. Sweet, my regen is working still. Nice. And then let's go ahead and oak flesh. And don't need any more, just that little bit. Hmm. I'll hold on to it then. For some reason I thought I had another magic up, but that's okay. Let's use this guy for the time being. It's a little bit like more cowbell, but more Achanak. I wonder if I can, like, pour some to catch up with me. Yes, I 
can. Stay out of trouble, or there's gonna be trouble. Will you stay out of trouble, dirge? Resolve this. Is someone there? Anybody there? So let's fast travel back to Riverwood because, yes, it's lazy. Super dark for 8 a.m. Bird. I have only seen this a handful of times outside of a um, pretty. I'll give you that. Just stay out of solitude. Man, Esbern, just like, hey girl, what's up? Long time to see. What you been up to? Delphi. <laughs> I, it's good to see you. It's been a long time. It's good to see you too, Esbern. It's been too long, old friend. Too long. Well, then. You made it safe and sound. Good. Come on, I have a place we can talk. Orgnar, mm -hmm. hold down the bar for a minute, will you? Yeah, yeah sure. Your, like, secret room? This way. So I think I'm supposed to actually just open this chest down here. Yeah. There we go. Done that before too. Let's have a big old intense conversation about dragons. Dragons! Now then, I assume you know <laughs> about... Oh yes, Dragonborn, indeed, yes. Well, this changes everything, of course. There's no time to lose. We must look in. Let me show you. I know I had it here somewhere. Asburn, what? Give me just a moment. Oh. Ah, here it is. Come. You see, right here, Skyhaven Temple, constructed around one of the main Akaviri military camps in the Reach during their conquest of Skyrim. Do you know what he's talking about? Nope. Shh. Not even a little bit, Delphi. This is where they built Aldrin's Wall to set down and store all their accumulated dragon power, a hedge against the forgetfulness of centuries. <laughs> a wise and foresighted policy in the event. Despite the far-reaching fame of Aldrin's Wall at the time, one of the wonders of the ancient world, its location was lost. Esmer, what are you getting at? You mean, you don't mean to say you haven't heard of Aldrin's Wall? Either of you? Let's nope. pretend we haven't. What's Alduin's Wall, and what does it have to do with stopping the dragons? Aldrin's Wall was where the ancient blades recorded all they knew of Alduin and his turn. Part history, part prophecy. His location has been lost for centuries, but I have found it again. Not lost, you see, just forgotten. 
the Blades archives held so many secrets. I was only able to save a few scraps. So you think that Alderman's wall will tell us how to defeat Alderman? Well, yes. But there's no guarantee, Carl. Skyhaven Temple it is, then. I knew you'd have something for us, Esbern. I know the area of the breach that Esbern's talking about, near what's now known as Karth Spire in the Karth River Canyon. We can meet you there or all travel together. Your call. Yeah, I'll meet you there. Your call. Might be safer to travel separately. Attract less attention that way. Don't worry, I'll get Esbern there in one piece. We'll wait for you near Karth Spire. Good luck. Okay. So we're gonna go ahead and do a proper save. But we're not going to Karth Spire just yet. Because we are going to Solitude. Let's do, hopefully, my favorite class. Gorgnor, this is it. Do we have something to disenchant? Maybe. Oh, hello. Just tidying up. I swear to you, unnatural magics are coming from that cave. There are strange noises and lights. We need someone to investigate. Then we will immediately send out a legion to scour the cave and secure the town. Hafengar's people will always oh, be nice. safe under my remedy. My scrying is a nothing in the area. Dragon Bridge is under Imperial control. This is like superstitious nonsense. Perhaps a more tempered reaction might be called for. Oh, yes, of course, you were right. Falk, tell Captain Aldis I said to assign a few extra soldiers to Dragon Bridge. Thank you, Jarl Elisif. What about the cave? I will have someone take care of the cave as well, Varnius. You can rest easy. You're dismissed. Oh, what was that all about? Do you have business with the court? You mean the Dragon Bridge issue? Yeah. I'll be honest with you. I was planning to let that go. I bet you were. Varnius is a bit jumpy at the best of times. There have been reports of weird happenings near Wolfskull Cave. Travelers disappearing, odd lights. I suspect wild animals, or perhaps bandits. I don't think it's worth our time with the war going on. But if you want to clear out Why the, ca is it called the cave, cave has a bad history. Long ago, Potema the Wolf Queen used it for necromantic rituals. That's where it got the name. That was over 500 years ago. Nothing much down there now. But everyone's always convinced the cave is haunted. All right, Feel wow. free to return to me with questions. The Blue Palace is an open forum. So, I'm gonna go ahead. So, I know it's only a small quest. But Wolf Skull, Wolf Skull Cave, uh, the Wolf Queen, is my favorite quest line in this game. Doesn't make a lot of sense, I know. Uh, there are so many other very neat and detailed quests, but I don't know. I like it. Let's see if these guys have anything. 
something worth taking. Nope. Yeah, I feel like it's a big giveaway what's inside if you've got, like, skeletons guarding your uh, situation. Let's be sneaky seeks because there are lots of things inside. Pickaxes and uh, wine seem like a bad combination. Alright, there's one. That's the thrall. So the thrall is gone. should be, at the very least, a drawer to deal with. Okay, this one is 
stupid idea. like not here I don't understand I'm still here let's go wow it's good thanks Greater Soul Gem, thank you very much. Gonna make a new 
save. Okay, so this gets way worse. From this vantage point, we should be able to pick off a bunch of dropper. Maybe that one of those is, that's one of the reasons I like this uh, Wolf Queen, quest. Here are called and awakened to summon It's a ton of just some sneaky target practice. Lord, have you spent the dreams of sleep of death for Kemma? No longer. Here us, Wolf Queen. We summon you. We summon Kemma. There's way more guys, but clearing out the ones you, you can is super helpful. Look at all those guys. What are they doing? It's a weird scuffle over there. I've never seen that before. I've probably done this quest like 10 times. It's so bizarre. Alright. Okay, so there's our necromancer friend there. Oops. Not getting that back. Skill? No, I don't think so. I think it goes right over their head. Yeah, no. Okay. Hmm. Still not really sure if that scuffle was in the tower, though. It was very strange.
can let this go down here. Literally never seen the necromancers fight the Draugr before, so I'm a little curious about all that. Okay. Well, that's one less necromancer. Stronger too. Hmm. I don't know if that other one's going to come back. Well. Oh, she did though. before. Okay, she's going down now. Mm -hmm. I can get an astronaut to follow her. Can I get her to echo a little bit? Nice. Okay. Careful. Dead men's tool. Hmm. 
Well, that's one arrow I got back. Oh. Well, didn't get that one. Just fine. <laughs> Thank you, Achinok. Achinok is killing it this game. I love it. Oh, Moonstone. We can upgrade our elven armor that way. I'm having such a chill night, guys. Man. Um, can I hit them from here? Cool if I could. And I think I can just make them angry. Okay, so we're back up where we started. I always forget that this is here. That's okay. So we need to go down to that glowing blue door, I guess. save our progress here. We've been doing good picking off some of these little guys. I'll just do this systematically. Okay, well this is a little one. So we're on the other side now. Oh, I've come through here at a much higher level and every single jogger was a death lord. <laughs> because it just scales that way, you know? I know their like helmets are supposed to be little horns, but I don't know. Sometimes they just look like demonic rabbits to me. We're getting there. gonna say we were trying to get this lady for a while. I know you had way something more. is wrong. There is an intruder. What still not really 
really sure what happened in here. So we're going to go ahead and cast F not. Okay, we've got three. more astronauts. Seriously, I hop up here. Like, look how badass that is. Yeah, that's so neat. Yeah. Oh yeah, uh, I'll be the first to admit I cowered my way through this entire adventure, and I love it. We've totally saved the day. That's totally like the first leg of it. There's the awesome second leg of this. Some wallpaper that uh, is not loving this heat. I put it up in the winter time. Word is Ellen went furious. Big party at the Thalmor Embassy, and one of the guests went someplace to shoot it. Caused a lot of commotion. Um, tell me about it. I have to wonder. What does the Dragon Ball do once he's been summoned by the Raven? Once somewhere they shouldn't have. I wonder if they're talking about like the Pelagian. 
So, you could cast a few spells. Am I supposed to be impressed? I don't know. Can you cast a few spells? Okay. She's always talking about, like, I need to go clean up, but there she is, just, like, chilling. Oh, hi. You've returned. Good. What did you find at Wolf Skull Cave? Necromancers. Potema herself. Please tell me you stopped them. I hope so. You've done a larger service to the realm than you could possibly know. A resurrected Potema. I shudder at the thought. Okay. So that's fun times. Um I'm just kinda curious. I know we're carrying around some um Okay. I didn't think about this earlier, but I think Yeah, we can charge that up again. Nice. This guy's so grumpy. Alright, so we can proper save now. <laughs> Nervous when people run at me. Just children. Just children. Okay. Do we have something to do in here? Is it here? Oh, that was stupid. Apparently not. It's right here. Unless we have debts oh, yeah. are debts. Either he pays them or his kind do. Oh, he's an old man, dude. Fine. You sound like a priest of Mara, but I get your point. Tell him to forget about the gold. Keep your sword arm strong. Keep my sword arm strong. All right. You can get one at the Winking Skeever right here. No worries, Being dude. Old, you've done a fine thing for me. You know, I used to be quite a warrior in my day. Let me show you a thing or two. Okie dokie. Speak to my daughter, Yvette. She's the brains of the family. Aww. Um. So we still need before we even start getting into it. Really should look for I'm a little busy at the moment. Keep trying to stock up on some uh, fire salt. She's gonna ask us if we've been there. Right no? You're a traveler, correct? Have you been to White Run? Oh, I thought she already asked us this. Uh, yes, actually. Wonderful. My daughter, Fura, was assigned to... I haven't heard from her lately. Um, I've tried talking to Captain Aldous, I but could he get hasn't some been... information. Oh, that's very sweet of you. What do you have so for sale? So you're interested in my potions and ingredients? Um, okay, so actually I know we're going to need one of those. Don't need those. Oh, she has frost salt, not fire salts. Mm. Oh, she's just selling moon sugar just down the road, isn't she? Good for her. Don't forget me next time you need herbs and potions. Will do. Okay, didn't we have like something to do for um, I guess we could go talk to Captain Aldous. The Divines saved me from the streets, and they can save you from your trials as well. Hey, Captain Aldous. Destruction hmm? magic's fine. Just don't go burning down any buildings. Generally posting information is need to know only. Uh, I think Angela needs to know what's going on with her daughter, Fiera. I... I've been trying to find the timing. 
The daughter was sent to White Run. The skirmishes there have been violent. The White Run legate he needed to know the storm. He sent out a party to scout the area. Private oh. Morag, Angela's daughter, was in that scouting party. She needs to be told. I'm waiting. Keep my men in your prayers. They'll need them if they don't shake. Hands to yourself, sneak thief. Hands to yourself, sneak thief. Do you know how many holds I've been to where the guards have tried to shake me down? Angela, I've got bad news. Ah, welcome to Angela's but I have news. It's good to see a fresh face. You got Aldous to tell you something. I knew you would. What did he say? That isn't good. I told her. I told her the Imperial Army would kill her. That this was a war of Jarls and Imperial Generals, and we had no part in it. She just wouldn't hear it. It was brave of you to come to me with this. I can't thank you for it, not for this. But you have done me a service. That stinks. to the main quest then. Um, yeah. So to Dragon's Bridge we go, I guess. Wait, did I not select that? Oh no, um, Wolf's, uh, Wolf Skull Cave is near. Okay. Um, if you beat up my sister, sis, I will tell. Wow. Oh, he's coming right for me. like get that it's really easy to get behind their leg not their tail because they can attack with that but behind their leg way easier to get if there are teeth involved
Nom nom nom. Dragon souls. Get these to Uthgard. Oh, I get some of my stuff back. Thanks. I'm still here. I need to trade some things with you. you How about all these very heavy bones I don't want to carry? Thank you. You're Let's the best, Uthgard. Let's save, though. We're heading in the right way. Yeah. Actually, I actually think that the west side of the map is actually pretty sparse. The east side seems to just have more stuff in it, but maybe it's because the, um, like, Dwemer locations are more, I don't know, are heavier in that area. So it just all seems together because of the way the quests were. if we can offer it up there because I'd really like to just pick off as many for scoring as possible. Especially because even though I haven't taken all the levels that I could at this point, I know there's gonna be at least one fire heard. Are we are we really doing this again? That's not what I thought that was. Oh! Yep, okay, so we've got both right now. Please. Okay, let's go this way. I'm just gonna take everything. So I apparently oh it's a blood dragon. Okay. Not please. Okay. Going back to two corner. I don't like that. Old Walden. Okay, that's cool, but like at this point, I kind of want to just leave the dragon um, <laughs> to Carth Wason. <laughs>
that's what I want. No, potions. what we want. All the magic users. of where all the Forsworn are too. designations. Does it come straight up? Ooh. You know what? I have this. And it worked pretty good. Got a dragon. Yeah, that worked out well for you, didn't it? is super important. <laughs> um, I 
actually I think it's breath attack is not nearly as bad. Oh, what is... Do I even want to know what that is up there? This looks stupid. You need to hop into? Let's do it. Um, man, everyone's giving me stone flesh and it's not doing me any favors. Scroll of something cool. Yes. Hi, Raven. You're kind of the worst. and another Atronaut. Oh hey, it's my buddy. Very late to this party. Um, can I make some health? Like, I don't think I have enough stuff on me, but... I can't use this while in combat. Perfect. Thanks for letting me know. Did you hear that? Oh yeah, I heard lots of things. Oh man, I'm so glad I brought this dragon over here though. Man, that made life a little bit easier. concerned that we haven't actually seen a prior heart. I'm pretty sure there normally is one at this camp. I don't think we're that lucky. Prior hearts are dumb strong. What is it? Yeah, we cleared the place out, and then it's like, oh, by the way, your cards fire. I'm like, oh, well, that's good.
Oh, you know what? I think the Briar Heart might actually be in here. Well, that was interesting. <laughs> oh my goodness. Esburn's got that old man strength, for sure. I can take my arrows back, please. Oh man, we got some healing, we got some poison. Yes, we got some good stuff now. Random tap, okay. I guess it makes sense, like, you would have a tap and then, you know, apply it to each bottle versus like modern, like cakes and things that are just like already tapped. Um, I want this warbler egg and this canis root for no reason other than I want it. Um, anything else good in here? something to do with it. Yes. Yeah. These are Akaviri symbols. Dragon face. Okay, let's see. I had the symbol for Kiva and the warrior. You did. You worked. Let's see what those old blades left out. Oh, I thought those are like... Never mind. Okay. Careful. Careful. Wait. Why are you stopping? You should be careful here. See these symbols on the floor? This one's right. Look like pressure plates. Be careful. As Earth goes, just like, what? We're in danger? Oh. Interesting. Oh, it's so cool. Okay, tell me that this face does not remind you of, um, well, that's convenient to put a dagger here. Um, I think it's this face reminds me of the engineers from the like alien franchise, like the later alien franchise. Blood sacrifice. It's coming to life. We shall now learn the secrets of Alduin's wall.
this and I'm just, I'm just strolling on in. There we go. Okay, well, Esbern is going to monologue, which I super appreciate, but like, I'm gonna go ahead and take Dragon Bane. Aw, we don't get a one-handed for that? Okay, well. Alright, so what is the situation with the blade stuff? It's heavy armor. Let's get going. What do you need to take? Mm, uh, I'm gonna give you this cool blade stuff. We're gonna hold on to it because it's pretty sweet. Oh, you can wear it too, can't you? Oh, you're buying too much. You're carrying too much. Okay. Lead well, on. That's fine. This place just like loops around super crazy for no reason. I love it. Tell us a story, Esbern! Look, here is your friend. This man goes back to the beginning of time. An Aldrin and the dragon comes from the room of Dora Skyrim. Here, the humans rebel against their dragon of the Lord. The Jutri Dragon Lord. Aldrin's defeat is the centerpiece of the war. You see, here is fallen from the sky. The Lord taught masters of the voice are arrayed. So does it show how they defeated him? Isn't that one? Ah, patient. The Akaviri were not a straight form. Everything is counseled now. Okay, that like weird chittering sound. Uh, again, I think I had talked about it um, when we were um, at Frostflow um, Lighthouse that that chittering sound makes me think of um, Mimic uh, and the little boy who had the spoons and he was like, it's Mr. Funny Shoes. Shout that can knock a dragon out of the sky. Hey, I'm the new guy here. You're probably right. I was hoping to avoid having to involve them in this, but it seems we have no choice. Um, I'll ask um, Angier if he knows anything about the shout. Right. Good thing they've already let you into their little cult. Oh, why be Not so disrespectful? Be Esper or me if we can't go. We'll look around Skyhaven Temple and see what else the old blades might have left for us. It's a better hideout than I could have hoped for. Talos, guard you. Look here, in the third Oh, a cheese! Alduin's wall. Gonna talk to Ang here. Also, trying to remember where the living quarters are. Am I just like turn around all crazy? Because weren't there like beds and things and no of course there's there it is okay this is laid out super crazy but like i don't know oh we got another bear pelt also we don't need that wooden plate my bad Poisoning. Let's put a campfire inside. I guess they're like hi hiding out from like the dragon cult and stuff, so I, you know, that's fair. Okay, but like, but I want 
with the bear pelt. I should be able to give like Let's some get smaller going. things to be good still. What do you need to take? She looks pretty sweet in that armor though. Um Okay, five more pounds. Uh cat pelt. Lead on them. Okay. I can drop this. And this. Two copies of this. Okay. Now we can fast travel to the university. I go being crazy again, but that's okay. I'm bear pelts are a good thing. Okay. So let's look for ingredients I don't know. Close to root. Fire heart. Okay. Three pounds over. more to do than I thought. Um, I thought we were just going to get to the first leg of Wolf Queen because I'm kind of, I don't know, I take my time with that one just because it's so much easier than having to like fend off just hordes and hordes of, um, looks like the yellow mountain flower you see in the moth sanctuary. Anyway, um, I just think it's easier to deal with, um, All those necromancers because they're not just like regular spell casters hello uh, welcome to the stream uh, we just uh, encountered uh, Alduin's wall for the first time uh, we picked up the blades armor um, and uh, was it dragon's bane um, I have so yeah We're going to drop off stuff at I'm our room sure at the Mages me. College because we are carrying way too many things, as one does. How are you doing this evening? I'm still here. What do you need to take? Let's go. Yeah, I, uh, I'm not, I'm not gonna lie, I frequently will, um, and do the first leg of the mages, uh, college quests, just so that I have a free room to put my stuff in. Um, I'd rather save up for one of the better houses than be forced to buy Bree's home early on, because this is kind of plain. Actually, we can stash the ice wraith piece because we've already done that. All right. I'm and still she's here. She's also got. What do you need to take? Yeah, storage is kind of a thing, especially if um, you plan on making the like really good armor later. It just takes a while to kind of grind through all that extra stuff.
Mm. All right. Lead on them. So this is my chest that has all sorts of materials in it. It's also kind of nice having things on hand for uh, fetch quests <laughs> instead of having to like scrounge for them. Found a whole bunch of bear pelts um, at Skyhaven Temple, so I'm gonna stash those away for the lady in uh, Iverson. I'm still here. What do you need to take? I think we have some things to sell now. We have way too many potions, of course. Um, yeah, let's see. Lead on then. I think I have a something with books in it. Nope. Books? Books. There we go. Uh, we also picked up the first of the four, um, Uh, I am playing on PC. Um, I am using an Xbox controller though because it's much more comfortable. Um, I started playing Skyrim on the PlayStation 3, so I don't know. It just feels more natural to play with the controller. Yeah, I um, have the air conditioner running pretty, pretty high because uh, it is roasty toasty here and I use a gaming laptop because I live in a small house instead of like a full PC. So every once in a while you can hear like the really high, like whirring sound of, uh, of my fan. So that is what that sound We've is. We've stopped. What is it? Let's see. What else? Um, I think it's time to go sell some things. Aww. Well, thank you. I appreciate it. Uh, so I stream every Friday from 6 to 9. Uh, right now I'm just kind of fumbling my way through Skyrim. Um, I've played way more hours than I should admit for someone who's not very good at it. Even with the college's late, I hope you've got some coin. Uh, let's just take a look then. Um, I joked in the first stream that I've played like 15,000 hours of Elder Scrolls, which is an exaggeration, but I did go back to my um, PSN account and then kind of looked at uh, what I've played on Steam. And between uh, 3, 4, and 5, um, it's probably about 9,500 hours. Yeah. Or less, like, 9 years. <laughs> uh, but um, it's, it's my favorite. 
Uh, five is my favorite, um, but the other... I just started playing Morrowind um, for the first time, but um, I have a real soft spot for Oblivion as well. Um, which of the games have you played? Yeah, I mean, aesthetically, um, I don't know, um, my partner actually is the one who introduced me to them, um, I don't know why I'm going in here, um, uh, first, uh, Skyrim, because it was fairly new at the time, um, and I was out of work for medical leave and was very much like instructed I need to sit on my butt and not do anything and knowing me they were like you know what this is going to be good for you um just sit and play this and uh what yeah it here will last you definitely life. got me through um that period of time so I, of I'm already like Skyrim. attached to it for that reason um but that's all I did and then after that uh, I backtracked to Oblivion, and yeah, the faces are a little weird and smushy, but the stories are super good. And I think I think each version has like things that are better and things that are worse. Uh, but it's amazing to me when you look at the visual aesthetic from like Morrowind or even the gameplay, like how you outfit your character and stuff from 2002 to what 2006 and it's like oh, okay like okay it's been four years and uh, it definitely goes from looking like virtual D&D &D to um, you know something a little more what we know is like a modern video game and then you go from 2006 to 2011 and like the the contrast from Oblivion to Skyrim is amazing um, but oh, yeah the dawn it's I don't know. <laughs> it's good stuff. Um, I mostly deal with petty thieves. I certainly don't yours. like that jumping and running aren't like skills that you can build um, in Skyrim because you're just Come like stuck with that slow running the speed forever. Like the rest um, of the great part of it is I'm just really partial to um, the boots of Springheel Jack. <laughs> um, from it seems the, uh, this damnable conflict has claimed everyone's passions of late. From the, Me? I think it's a I quest, quest line. And, oh man, it's yeah, they're great. <laughs> oh wait, I have magic stuff I can sell him. Oh, Fingar, <laughs> buy my stuff for me. There's a tranquility in magic, don't you think? Bells and so between for four and five, um, what would you say is your favorite quest line? You know, if you've got the aptitude, you should join the Mages College in Winterhold. I work for Bellafield at the General Goods Store. Hi. Got some good some looking to protect to you. yourself or deal some damage. 
Yeah, um, I think both Thieves Guild uh, quests are extremely good. Um, I think they do a really good job of telling a story that's interesting and revealing quite a bit about like the world of Elder Scrolls without being too heavy handed. And you know, honestly, I can't decide which is a better DLC, whether it's uh, Dawn Guard or Dragonborn. I think they're both really excellent. Um, I almost wish that Dragonborn was part of the main quest, because um, the main quest is fairly short, and it's so, and it delves more into the, the mythology of what it is to be Dragonborn anyway. Um, actually my favorite quest line is um, the Wolf Queen. The shop um, I know it's only two parts, but for the same reason, it just like does such a good job of building kind of the world um, in a way that um, the daily interactions just don't. Alright, well, we're still carrying a lot of potions. Alright, good enough. So I think this is the part where we meet, um, oh my god, brain. Where'd you go, Brain? Parthenax. So, because I don't think we've done this yet. Uh, I think uh, it's time to meet the head of our order. I kind of just want to like knock that over for no particular reason. All right, Angir, let's Wind. do it. Gotcha. I need to learn this special shout. Where did you learn of that? Who have you been talking to? Ruffians. <laughs> Does it yes. matter? For matters of such gravity, we need to know where you stand. Or who you stand with. Um, well, right now, I stand um, with, like, living. So the blades help me out. The blades, of course. They specialize in meddling in matters they barely understand. Their reckless arrogance knows no Oh, one. me either. I have always sought to um, turn the dragonborn from the path of wisdom. Like, have you learned nothing from us? Would you simply be a Parthenax tool in the is hands kind of, of like um, used for their own purposes? Like this story's Yoda. Like that's that is untouchable. Um, like our Mister Miyagi. Like that is. No. Um, I've never done it. Um, I... Yeah. No, no, of course not. Forgive me, Dragonborn. I, I think a lot of people feel pretty strongly about Parthenax. Um, in a lot of ways, he's kind of like above and outside. Um, no. Kind of the smaller dealings of... Because I do not know it. People. It is called Dragonrend, but its words of power are unknown to us. We do not regret this loss. Dragonrend holds no place within the way of the voice. I thought you knew all the words of power. But not Dragonrend. The knowledge of that shout was lost in the time before history began. Perhaps oh, only its creators oh. ever knew it. But I am not the one to speak of it to you. Mm, okay, well, what's bad about Dragonrend? It was created by those who had lived under the unimaginable cruelty of Alduin's dragon cult. Their whole lives were consumed with hatred for dragons, and they poured all their anger and hatred into this shout. When you learn a shout, you take it into your very being, in a sense. You become the shout. 
In order to learn and use this shout, you will be taking this evil into yourself. Yeah, I don't... I don't know if it's just evil and anger, though. I mean, from how Esbern talks about the dragon wars and the dragon cults and the priest, like, basically all humanoids were slaves. I mean, it's not just, it's just, it's not just anger, it's a need for, for freedom to, to get out from under that, like, crushing life. I don't know. I don't think it's fair to... I don't think it's a black and white situation. I don't think that's a fair analysis of that. Um, Alright, well, if the shout is lost, how can I defeat Alduin? Only Parthenax, the master of our order, can answer that question. If he so chooses. Um, then I guess I need to speak to Parthenax. You weren't ready. You still aren't ready. But, thanks to the blades... You now have questions that only Parthenax can answer. Kind of feel like Luke Skywalker. Well, who is Parthenax? He is our leader. He surpasses us all in his mastery of the way of the voice. Well, why haven't I met him yet? He lives in seclusion on the very peak of the mountain. He speaks to us only rarely and never to outsiders. Being allowed to see him is a great privilege. Um, well, how do I get to the top of the mountain? Only those whose voice is strong can find the path. We will teach you a shout to open the way to Parthenax. Are you building a new character or continuing an old game? Oh yeah, um, I'm basically recreating here. I'm basically recreating my my first like character that I really committed to when I first started. And like I said, I started playing on the PlayStation Three, which had a lot of problems with um, how it its um, file system worked. So eventually, like the files just become too big and corrupted. Um, but this is Bolari. Uh, Bellari is an assassin. She's obviously a Dunmer. Um, she, uh, her alignment is probably like, um, like lawful evil, uh, in, in those terms. Um, I almost always play, uh, a Dunmer assassin. Uh, that's kind of my thing. Um, even when I play D&D, I always play a rogue um, and I usually play like, um, like a Sphere Neblin, um, or, uh, like a Rock Gnome, that sort of thing, so. So I'm going to try to level Bellari up, um, to the point that I can challenge the, uh, Ebony Warrior, which I did not get to do the first time, um creating that character.
So you're playing on the vampire side rather than the dawn guard side? Um, I built a character specifically to play as a vampire. Um, I think... No. Keep punching stuff. No. Um, I definitely think the, um, the lore itself is very, um, I don't know. I think it favors the Dawn Guard a little bit in that way. Um... But I did play as a vampire lord, and that was kind of cool. Um, all the way up to the point where you, like, fired the arrows into the sun. But, um, I think I prefer playing, um, like, as the dawn guard, for sure. So what do you think, or what would you like to see in 6 that they haven't done yet, or done well yet? Knock. Aw. Oh, okay. I didn't knock the goat off. Sorry, buddy. Oh, no. It's, hold on. Uh, I hate these guys. Yeah, I feel like you kind of have to know that's what you're going to do. Um... I don't want to hit these guard. There we go. Um, just because of the way their like skills and feats work, huh? you kind of need to know that's what you're gonna do. Come on, booth guard. There we go. <laughs> um, yeah. Well, because, like, you already have a crime system built in, so it's really not a stretch by any means to have like a, like a reputation stat. Um, I want to say it's like, I know urban shadows reputation is a thing. Um, like if you're talking about like a tabletop, so that definitely seems Especially with factions, that seems kind of important. I mean, even, like, in its most simple form, um, even, like, like, farming simulators, like, Stardew Valley has essentially a reputation system, um, parts of the story don't advance until, um, you build better relationships with some 
key characters in the game, so I can't imagine that a game as complex as Skyrim or, well, any of the Elder Scrolls games would have a hard time with the reputation system, especially since, you know, that crime system is already in place. Oh my god, this guy! I mean, based on the um, based on the trailer, um, like the little teaser we got for six, um, it looks like it's you know um, probably based in um, like Hammerfell, uh, given the train. I was really hoping that we were going to finally see Black Marsh, um, just because of the way it's described in all the books as you know being so inhospitable and because we got to see some of those like really cool um like environmental elements on Solstein so yeah Goat, just like you know what? I'm gonna take a seat. I'm just gonna take a seat right here. Oh, man, that kind of messed me up. Too close. Yeah, um, I honestly, well, uh, of the like beast races. Um, I definitely like the Argonians. Um, they're just really different and I think they're about as far away from like humans um, as we're going to get as like a playable race. Um, but I don't think the Bosmer get the love that they deserve either. Oh, there he is. Oh, heck yeah. Hello. Uh, I'm actually playing a Bosmer um, in Morrowind, because of course I couldn't have picked a, you know, um, a Dunmer and make my life easy. <laughs> I think you already know who I am. Yes, Vaza, you speak true, Dovatin. Forgive me. It has been long since I held Tinbark with a stranger. I gave in to the temptation to prolong our speech. Um, I need to learn the Dragon Wren shout. Can you teach me? Hmm. Drem, patience. There are formalities which must be observed at the first meeting of two of the Dove. Speaks first. Hear my thune. Feel it in your bones. Match it if you are Dovakin. Not as elf. As Dova. Ah, yes. Sosedo Vlostmul. 
The dragon blood runs strong in you. It is long since I had the pleasure of speech with one of my own kind. So cool. So, you have made your way here to me. No easy task for a jaw, mortal. Even for one of Dova's source, dragon blood. What would you ask of me? Uh, can you teach me dragon rend? Ah, I have expected you, Proda. You would not come all this way for Timvak with an old Dova. No, you seek your weapon against Alduin. Yeah, um, I haven't really modded mine. Um, just in general, part of it is being able to um, run other software for... Um, you know, for streaming and for recording as well um but i i know a lot of people enjoy the mods i've seen some really cool ones um uh eso has done some pretty cool um playthroughs of some of the like dwemer um focused mods that are basically dlcs i'm super impressed by the way some people are able to just create basically new chunks of game like that um and they're really impressive um some of the like um like house mods um i know a lot of people have modded like chill Furrow farm because you know nazim is supposed to be this like uh, fancy I advisor um Broda. to um the jarl but like he lives in like the bannered mare um so those are kind of cool but i think just in general anything dwemer always piques my interest all right well ah i have expected you proda you would not come all this way for Timvak with an old Dova. No, you seek your weapon against Alduin. So you knew I was going to come for Dragonrend. Alduin, Comate Teed. What else would you seek? Alduin and Dovakin return together. That's a thing. But I do not know the Thum you seek. Croesus, it cannot be known to me. Your kind, Jor, mortals, created it as a weapon against the Dove, the dragons. Our Hadrime, our minds, cannot even comprehend its concepts. So how can I learn it? Drem, all in good time. First, a question for you. Why do you want to learn this Thum? I really like this world. I don't want it to end. Cruza, as good a reason as any. There are many who feel as you do, although not all. Some would say that all things must end, so that the next can come to pass. Perhaps this world is simply the egg of the next Kalpa, Lean Vokin? Would you stop the next world from being born? The next world will have to take care of itself. Pause. A fair answer. Rofus, maybe you only balance the forces that work to quicken the end of this world. 
Maybe. Even we who ride the currents of time cannot see past time's end. Wulsetid los trahodis. Those who try to hasten the end may delay it. Those who work to delay the end may bring it closer. But you have indulged my weakness for speech long enough. Croesus. Now, I will answer your question. Mm. Do you know why I live here, at the peak of the Monaven, what you name Throat of the World? Because it's awesome. Mm, true, but few now remember that this was the very spot where Alduin was defeated by the ancient tongues. Vaucht Unslad. Perhaps none but me now remember how he was defeated. I'm gonna say this is Dragon Island. Mm, yes and no. Viknus Nikaron. Alduin was not truly oh, that's defeated cool. either. Um, if he was, you would not what be does it do for the today, game? seeking to defeat him. The Nords of those days used the Dragonrend shout to cripple Alduin. But this was not enough. Oak Mulag Unslad. It was the Kel, the Elder Scroll. They used it to cast him adrift on the currents of time. Ah, the Elder Scrolls. The actual scrolls. Mm, not intentionally. Some hoped he would be gone forever, forever lost. Maye. I knew better. Tidbo Amativ. Time flows ever onward. One day he would surface. Which is why I have lived here. For thousands of mortal years I have waited. I knew where he would emerge, but not when. Um, all right, well, tell me about an Elder Scroll. Hmm, how to explain in your tongue? The Dove have words for such things that Jaw do not. It is an artifact from outside time. It does not wow, exist. Wow, that is a big DLC. But it has always um, existed. For, especially for a, a mod. They That's very cool. Fragments of That's creation. very cool. The Kelly. Elder Scrolls, as you name them, they have often been used for Yeah, prophecy. I don't really mess with horses too much. Yes, um, your prophecy comes from an Mostly because they, scroll. I don't know, their trots are really kind of funky. Um, although I am very partial to Shadow Mirror power. just because, um, so far, so you know, he's there yeah. where you need him. Um, and he actually has a decent um, base attack. Alright, so how does this help me, Parthenax? Tidkrent. Time was shattered here because of what the ancient Nords did to Alduin. If you brought that Kel, that Elder Scroll, back here to the Tid Ahran, the Time Wound, with the Elder Scroll that was used to break time, you may be able to cast yourself back to the other end of the break. You could learn Dragonrend from those who created it. That's so cool. So, where can I find this Elder Scroll? Croesus, no. I know little of what has passed below in the long years I have lived here. 
You are likely better informed than I. Mm, maybe Esbern or Angir might have an idea. Trust your instincts, Dovahkiin. Your blood will show you the way. So once I have this Elder Scroll, what do I do with it? Return it here, to the Teed Ahran. Then, Kele Vomindok. Nothing is certain with such things. But I believe the scroll's bond with the Teed Ahran will allow you a... a seeing, a vision of the moment of its creation. Then you will feel no dragonrend in the power of its first expression. You will see them, Wuth Fadon, my friends, Haken, Gormleith, Feldir. Who are these cool people? The first mortals that I taught the Thum. The first tongues, the leaders of the rebellion against Alduin. They were mighty in their day, even to attempt to defeat Alduin. Sahrot Hun. The Nords have had many heroes since, but none greater. So, how could an Elder Scroll cast Eld Alduin through time? Oh, dark. I do not know. Perhaps, in the very doing, they erased the knowing of it from time itself. The Dove are children of Akatosh. Thus, we are specially attuned to the flow of time. Perhaps, also uniquely vulnerable. I warned them against such a rash action. Even I could not foresee its consequences. Nust Lihon, they would not listen. So what do you mean you were there? Yes. There were a few of us that rebelled against Alduin's Thur, his tyranny. We aided the humans in his overthrow. But they did not trust us, me of. Their inner counsels were kept hidden from us. I was far from here on the day of Alduin's downfall, but all Dove felt the sundering of time itself. So what does this Dragon Ren shout actually do? I cannot tell you in detail. I never heard it used. Kogan. It was the first Thum created solely by mortals. It was said to force a dragon to experience the concept of mortality. A truly von Mindoran. Incomprehensible idea to the immortal Dove. So if you're the master of the Greybeards, do others come here to train? I have taught the way of the voice for centuries, and the Thum since long before that. But no, Dovahkiin. Others do not come here to train anymore. Saran, you are the first in over a hundred years. I meditate on the Rotmulag, the words of power. I counsel in their use. It is enough for me. You meditate on words. How? Knowing a word of power is to take its meaning into yourself. Contemplate the meaning of a Rotmulag. You will become closer to that word as it fills your inner self. Will I teach you, Dovahkiin? What word calls you to deeper understanding? There are three 
to master Fus, Fine, and Yo. Uh, let's let's meditate on Fus. It is called force in your tongue. But as you push the world, so does the world push back. Think of the way force may be applied effortlessly. Imagine but a whisper pushing aside all in its path. That is Fus. Let its meaning fill you. Sum Arkmora. You will push the world harder than it pushes back. Um, I wish to meditate on a word of power. Which calls to you, Dovahkiin? Fus, Faim, or Yol? Faim. Fade in your tongue. Mortals have greater affinity for this word than the Dove. Everything mortal fades away in time, but the spirit remains. Ponder the meaning of spirit, Unslad Zi. Where mortal flesh may wither and die, the spirit endures. That is fine. Let that meaning fill you, Sum Ark Mora. You will find that your spirit will give you more strength. Right. And I would like to Which meditate to you, on Yol. Fus, Faim, or Yol. In your tongue, the word simply means fire. It is change given form, power at its most primal. That is the true meaning of Yol. Soljek, power, you have it, as do all Dove. But power is inert without action and choice. Think of this as the fire builds in your sum, in your breath. Sum Ark Mora. What will you burn? What will you spare? Ah, oh, so cool. Drem your look. Greetings. Look through. Alright. Well, I think this is a good place. We've run over a couple minutes here uh, to end the stream for tonight. Um, whoop. <laughs> sorry, youth grade. Um, but thanks for everyone who came and hung out tonight. Um, I appreciate the company while I uh, trek through Tamriel. Um, I do stream every Friday night from 6 to 9 p.m. Pacific time. Uh, so pour yourself a hot cup of tea or iced tea or whatever you choose and uh, come hang out. Uh, yeah. So, as always, guys, happy sipping. <laughs>